Hello and welcome to another episode of Ankle Saw and our preview of Finals Week 2. Please make sure to hit the like button, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead, hit that button too. It helps our show grow. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon so you get an alert every time a new episode is available. Well, we're into semi-final week. It was a rather non-eventful yeah, first week of the finals. Barring one game. Barring one game. That's potentially this week could be a non-eventful well, semi-final week. One will be. So mm-hmm. first of all, Friday night, 7.40, Port Adelaide get a double chance. They play Hawthorne, who are flying. Port Adelaide, are they any chance? Well, after what I saw on the weekend, this game could be played on the moon, Angelo. On the moon? On the moon. Where would it be played on the moon? Oh, what, me what venues can have the moon? What's on the moon? Crater. Oh, it's Craters. CCG, there you go. The, c- the CCG. CCG. Crater Cricket Ground. <laughs> Crater Cricket Ground. <laughs> Bloody hell. They could, but there's no lights at that ground. You can't play at the crater. It's got to be during the day. Yes, yeah, so and you can't play on weekends. We could play in the sea of tranquility. <laughs> it's got to be during. It can't be. Yeah, it's got to be during the day. It's got to be during the week. It's got to be no during. Week. And what day? Moon. <laughs> moon day. Moon. Moon. Well, I open myself right up for that. Oh, it's... <laughs> well, you guys me stupid questions. I've got. Well, I open myself. Why don't you just let it? Straight through the. I should have. I should have. I don't even know why. Moon I day. You like it? But I do. But you I know do. what else? If they play on the moon, though, there'll be no atmosphere. Oh, <laughs> that's, oh. The winner. that's the winner. That's the winner. <laughs> yeah, moon the winner. day, no atmosphere. <laughs> so Port Adelaide versus Hawthorne at the moon, on the moon. <laughs> on the moon. Um, With Sting walking on the moon. <laughs> yeah, walking on. Giant steps are what you take, walking on the moon. Well, it's we could song. do Robert Plant. Isn't he the dark side of the moon? No, no that's, that's Pink Floyd. Floyd. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, mm. Dark Side of the Moon. Let's get it. Uh, you know what? I never um, thought. I never thought I'd say it. Hawthorne will win this game. Still no oh, paint. Stick in. <laughs> stick in there. <laughs> by the way, they're going to run out. <laughs> by the way, we're talking about Vito's. Uh, hang on, hang on. Before you go on, where do we get this paint from? Can anyone tell yeah, us? Yeah, we need paint. Because we don't know. Torben's. <laughs> Let's go to Bunnings and boy. Oil based so, paint for you. Who, who was uh, the monkey? What's his name? Oh, Wally. Wally Wally, Wolpen, Wally, Wally. It was Waddle. That was Waddle. Waddle, I thought it was Torbins. Oh, no, nah, yeah. Wally Wolpen, Yeah, Wally, he Wolpen, was. Wolpen, <laughs> and we're not going to talk no, about. We've lost it. We won't talk about British uh, paint. Uh, so. oh, no. I can't talk about British paint. <laughs> <laughs> sure can. Sure can. But Wally Wolpen, uh, did he talk? He did. Yeah, no, he was a monkey. He never did know that. He was a monkey. Two telling hat. Mate, you under the commercial. He spoke. No, mark no. my words. We'll show you the commercial. Mr. Ed right? spoke, but yeah, he's Mr. not in Wally Warpemuir spoke. We I will see know. who's right, me and Ange or Vito. I reckon you ought to know the facts about New Warpemuir Wonder Gloss. Fact one: it's the gloss paint that stays glossy longer. Fact two: you can use it both outside and in. Look out. Fact three: the brushes wash out in water. See? Well. Looks like I've glossed over the facts, eh? Glossed! <laughs> How does he even know he's Wally 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was That's 80s. Like that's that. 80s. Wally Warpham, you. And he spoke. Mark? He wore a yellow t shirt. So you go into Bunnings and, and go, I need brown and yellow paint. What's it for? You know, you know, was it for a decking or a wall? No, it's for skin. <laughs> it's for me face. <laughs> it's for me face. It's for me face. Torbman's. <laughs> Torbman's. Oh, dear. Oh, me. Um, so Are we going to talk about the footy or? Yeah, stick your neck out, Hawthorne. Of course. I'll tell Obviously you what, mate. All oh, day, that's all... what I was going to say before we go ahead. What? Oh, yeah, sorry. Are you I'll aware yeah. that a man ate 243 nuggets and was paralysed? No. And I've got the article which no. will be up. Are you serious? Um, Are you serious? <laughs> no. Mm. Th- yeah. I was only going to eat 100, not 200. Doesn't matter, mate. Yeah, it was about that. Do I'm going to show you. Okay. A man was paralysed eating. But hang on. Imagine that on live in Australia, TV. In Australia. I wouldn't have thought so. It could have been in the... Odd country where maybe they weren't actually. So chicken. chicken nuggets, two hundred forty-three yep. chicken nuggets. He's and paralyzed. He got paralyzed. Yeah, it's obviously something in the food. Obviously, that. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Salmonella. <laughs> Salmonella. You reckon? <laughs> oh, mate, seriously. So, when I come across all that, oh gee. I'm oh yeah, you send it to me. Yeah, no a, imagine that on a live stream. Far out. Um, get a few views, I reckon. <laughs> Sure, <laughs> no, he'd be dead. Don't be a chicken. He'd be gone. <laughs> he'd be gone. I and we'd be sitting there and we'd look at each other. And go, how do we turn this off? <laughs> how do we upload it? <laughs> well, hang on, I don't know. Look at it. No idea. Yeah, there'd be no anyway, there'd be no idea. Four and a half minutes of. Hang no. on. So who wins mm. this game? You reckon Hawthorne? No, nah, even the contest. Let's talk. Let's talk about the game for yeah, a minute. Not, you could not about. see Port 
be that competitive against Hawthorne. You just no, you can't they will say be for from a half. an obvious point of view. I reckon for a half they will be just because they'll fight and with it, but it's a waste of time. Okay, it's a it is confirmed. Yes, Margarine's out. Butters. He's out. Yeah, yeah, I think he's out. They're going to sp- they're going to struggle on the don't spread. S- don't say that. They're going to struggle on the spread. <laughs> he's got sore ribs. He's not playing. He's, he's ribs. He's margarine himself. on chicken ribs. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Hawthorne win. So preliminary final. Yeah. What? How good's that? On, just in a common sense, and there's no common sense in this. But no, like, we've been here for the last. Yeah, five well, that's minutes. true. Hawthorne. What? How can they? How could you see them lose this game of football against the opposition? Or, or the lack of top. effort that this opposition put up last week. Mm. They were pitiful. Put- putrid, they were putrid. Yeah. putrid. But I, I think Hawthorne wins too. But you know this as well. You know footy. You both know. They're going to come out breathing fire. Whether it's enough, I don't know. But you know they're not going to just lie down and They Hawthorne can wins. breathe as much as they want. They can't. Do you agree with that? Got, you know they they can't can't score. Score. Yeah, they, they do. But the firepower. How literally. are they going to score? Yeah. They've got to get there's rid of a, Charlie Dixon for a start. There's a couple of loyal, diehard Port Adelaide fans that follow us. Get on. We know you are. We love your comments. Get on, Port Adelaide mm. boys. There's a couple of you. Yeah, Tell us what you think this you week. Think. Yeah, yeah. Do you agree? Very curious about you two and what you guys And I know who think, you're talking about. they've been about. loyal writers to us. And they're actually good. They're not the comments. Yeah. They're not biased. No, nah, they're, they're actually honest. honest. Yeah, they, so. fit, they hit you between the eyes if they think it's worthy, yeah, but they also fine. give Fair you a, that's fine. a rap. So, you know, you guys know who you are. Mm. We'd love to know what you Will they bring you Malcolm Marshall? They should. Malcolm Marshall? No, so they bring Todd Marshall or Jack. Oh, they, they would have to. And You've have got to. Drop to. Dixon. Because yeah, the bloke, the bloke can kick a goal and he can take a mark so, in mobile. Yeah, Come and if on. they lose butters, what does well, that do? That's, does not make up? that's not confirmed, is it? No, no it's, it's not confirmed. It's very good. Chance well, what's, did play. anyone know his injury? Ribs. Ribs. Oh, yeah, he really copped a, he to copped a, yeah. Oh, mate, he won't play, mate. No, you know that. Play. And then with the Petrarca history and everyone all a little bit jumpy. And the thing that bothers me with that is obviously because he's a gun, but Rosie without him, I think, is a bit lost. He's a different player, isn't he? He's good. Him? He's still good. Don't get me wrong. Sorry about that. He's still good, but well, he's Wines not. Wines has to st- – well, Wines does step up, but mm. Horn Francis, they've got to stay up and about. Yeah, I can't see it. I just oh, I've got to worry about the defence too. Yeah. Right. Well, it's not even about the defence. I, I didn't give them enough credit. Hawthorne through the midfield, they can kick goals. You're right. Yeah. They'll just go running, running, yeah. running, and they just kick goals. They create the loose man like – Pun the pun. Oh, I know. They create a loose man so easily. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Since round 11, they've been the highest scoring side in the AFL, Hawthorne. Hawthorne? Good stat. Yeah, that's Great pretty stat. good, isn't it? That's good Yeah, stat. look, you know what? You've sold Hawthorne to me because I didn't give them a chance in hell. They're going to win. Hmm. Who would have thought that Port Adelaide, I'm not sure what the betting, have you guys seen the betting? The Hawthorne favourite, $1.65. Who would have thought that? Nah. In a semi final, yeah. Port Adelaide, Adelaide Oval, no matter uh-huh. who against, yeah, nah. that they're going to go in underdogs. That's how, much with the they, that's how much they've fallen. And Hawthorne, for that matter, who was 0 yeah. and 5 and lost three games with less than a kick. So if Hawthorne win this, they play who? Sydney. Sydney. I, in think, Sydney. I think they'll run out of cool. legs there. It's going to be interesting. Let, let, let them win this first yeah. and we'll talk. Anyway, yeah. I think they win. Saturday, NG Stadium, 7 30, GWS Brisbane. That's a semi final with the winner going into the prelim to meet Geelong at the MCG. I, I'm going to say something. Yep. As much as I think GWS are a better team, Jesse Hogan played well yesterday because they did. couldn't quell him. But Harris Andrews is the man for the job, right? I, if they can stop Jesse Hogan, then no chance GWS. Okay, but I'll say this. I think he's the I key. know what you're saying, but GWS is smart. Like Carlton's kicking to the forward line late yesterday, last night. Oh, I'm not worried about Carlton. What I'm saying is, what I'm trying to get at is, Harris Andrews just went clunk, clunk, clunk. It was like just, kicking to the... Yeah. No, no, I don't. What I'm saying is GWS yeah, are going to be a bit more... Oh, they'll uh, be more competitive more, No, no, not just that. A bit more of a formula in the way they go about it. You know what I mean? Kicking the ball. Yeah, yeah. You know, they've got yeah. Callan, they can hit a target. They've got, got a forward, Green, yeah. Green, Cornelio. Oh, well, they've got Cadman, Riccardi. The, the list goes on. They can hit a target. So I don't think Harris Andrews' answer to that question is he's going to have it so easy like he no, did no, last night. No, I don't night. mean that, but he's the man for the job. Like, there's, no, he has to. They reckon pain might miss. Yeah, but he's a lot of pain. He's in a lot of he pain. That's why he'll miss. You know, he, he's better than what I thought. He's a good player. Yeah, yeah. He's big. He's tough. He's handy. He is, he's big, but mm. what happened is what – I don't know. Look, if he, he might have even retired this bloke. The big bloke they had at the back from the dogs. Did he retire? From the he dogs. Retired Marcus year. Adams. Uh, did he yeah, retire? he retired last year. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know what happened to him. Yeah. He retired the year before. No, no. Well, maybe, he? maybe. He's always last injured. Year. He's always got injured. Because he was just, he, he he was was, what, I, what I was getting at, reminds, pain reminds me of him. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Big, yeah, solid, tough. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Um, I think I think JWS, personally. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking JWS. I just think that they were just too powerful 
for long periods on yes, yeah, look, I, know, I know they fell over. And, and, you're and right. that game plan you're, can beat Brisbane. Brisbane. No, no, you're right. You're right. I, I just oh, Toby Green so much rely uh, like they rely on Toby Green and Jesse Hogan. He'll come good. But this you week. reckon Toby Green had a shocker? Yeah, I reckon it was shocking. And game. they were the best part of five goals up. Yeah, I know. At periods yeah, in that game, which so that's is what I mean. He plays well. Yeah, correct. Yeah, but but then Ward kicks two goals. When does he ever kick two oh, goals? But you know what I mean? Like goal. Callahan kicked a goal. Like it's just, oh, I don't know. It's just there's something telling me that talking about Brisbane, Callahan, Finn Callahan, watching him, I'm saying he's the best player. player. He's a star. No, no. I've, I reckon, watching him, my opinion, his composure when he's got ball in hand. You know the way he just glides and then he just... He's, he's powerful, mate. And his physique. He's powerful. Beautiful he's to watch when he plays. Yeah. So if, oh, if it's tight at three-quarter time, I think Brisbane's in a lot of trouble because you know how I feel about their fade-outs. So I almost go the other way because... Oh, oh really? I wouldn't be yeah, trusting Brisbane tight. after the last month. No, if it's month. tight at home, GWS will win. Brisbane haven't been able to close out games. So, <sighs> Personally, I think Brisbane's got more firepower. Up forward, yeah, up forward. Of course they do. Well, right, Dan, no, nah, no, nah, nah. I disagree with him. You know, like oh, Rainer, Dana, Charlie Cameron, nah, Hipwood. He's a Hipwood. Atrocious. yeah, I mean, he's good for a goal. Like, he's atrocious. Look, it's going to be a good Are game. You're going to rely on Dano kicking six. That's what I mean. Kick six. He won't kick six. He doesn't need to kick six, mate. They've got these little like you know the guy you we couldn't get last week who you were talking about. Oh, um, Bailey. Bailey. Well, he'll pop up and kick a couple of goals. Talk about Bailey. We are talking about the mark of the year in the other episode. He yep. kicked the goal of the year on grand final day and didn't win it. No, that's yeah, right. He he that was goal of the year. Yeah, yeah, incredible yeah. goal. Yeah. Insane. So, um, what do you reckon? I'm going Brisbane just to be different, yeah, but, but with no confidence. He's running. He's going all right when he's one out. Yeah, yeah no. he's going all right, yeah. yeah. With no confidence. Out, he's one out in the goal score. He's <laughs> one out. <laughs> no confidence, though. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Well, there you have it. Our preview of finals week two. Let us know in the comments who you think wins, and we'll see you in the next one.